YouTube crew, what is going on and welcome back to another video. Now today we are breaking down a 43 kill game by a 4KD console player. Yes, console player. Reed Boy here plays on PS5 and dropped a 43 kill game recently on Rebirth. So we're going to go ahead and break it down talking about how he overcomes the FOV disadvantage. Today's primarily for my console players, but PC players, don't you worry. There's plenty in here for you as well. Let's go ahead and drop into it. Now, I want to quickly review kind of my main tips in terms of how console players can still have success. And the first First thing that I really want to pay attention with Reboy is his centering. He's constantly centering his crosshairs and anticipating enemies, which allows him to be prepared. The second is going to be what you're going to see here, keeping his distance. He is going to keep his distance from enemies and kind of stay outside of that five meter range where he is susceptible to getting his camera broken. Now, the third real quick, and we're going to go into these further, but I want to get this one out of the way because you're going to see it right here is going to be information. He's constantly using audio minimap pings, UAVs to his advantage to figure out where to go. So right here, he sees one right above him and as he turns the corner look at the centering not only does he center but he priest fires he's able to get the down he's able to get the thirst right there last one's kind of flying in above him so in terms of console settings i do want you to go check out his settings video i'm going to put his settings video his youtube channel and his twitch down in the description and the comments below for you so that you can go check it out. Um, in terms of his sensitivity, I always talk about, I recommend eight. console players play on higher sensitivity. I believe that he is on seven vertical, five horizontal, and then, or maybe it's seven horizontal and five vertical, and then his sensitivity multipliers are between a 0.8 and a 0.9. But again, I'm gonna link that settings video down in the comments below for you. So he's got UAV. And immediately, you're going to see him throughout this really using the MG42 to his advantage. Keeping his distance, he's aware of the guy to the left that he's kind of in a weird spot right now. But as he pushes in here, you're going to see this first example of how he keeps his distance. Notice he doesn't just push into this guy. And notice when he does, this is what happens. He gets in a situation where he loses track of the guy. He's able to drop shot. He gets the guy again. He's able to regain and essentially get back in there. Now he's going to quick plate up here. And he has a like a, I think it's like a 4.04 KD. But again, notice how he's keeping his distance, right? He's using information and right there, the guy gets a little close to him. He just beats him down with the gun. I'm not saying that you should always do that, but you can use that to your advantage because of the distance. Last one straight ahead of him. He's got seven kills. He's got eight other teams. Of course, we, we need to talk about farming teams throughout this lobby. And he's going to be fighting primarily in living quarters, which, you know, is tough to do as a console player because of the fact that it is all close quarters. But what we're, again, really going to pay attention to, he sees, look at everybody around him. He's got one here. He's going to keep his distance a little bit. He sees him. He sees him still. He's going to shoot the guy in the back first and then go challenge this guy. Use his throwing knife to his advantage. Right here, by the way, guys, this is actually where console players do have a little bit of an advantage is like this distance because it's zoomed in more. You can actually see a lot and use something like that to your advantage to really make sure that you hit shots. That is a very tough thing to do on PC. So he's able to get the down with the throwing knife. He gets the thirst and he goes and he pushes over. He's got a bunch of people over here still keeping his distance, keeping his cover where he can. One above. You see the pace of play. I mean, we're obviously going to talk about pace of play. That's a range where, guys, again, this is really tough. To, and and I, look, I'm not saying that PC players don't have an advantage here. I know they do. I always say that. But that is an advantage for console players right there in terms of that distance, being able to use your SMG. You really want to capitalize on, it, on that and use that to your advantage because you see so much on the screen. So he's going to go ahead and push in here. Look at his centering in the window. As he turns the corner, he's going to center here. Look at the centering at the top of the stairs. He's already centered up top, anticipating somebody. He sees him, and then he's going to keep his distance right there. He hits shots. He gets the thirst. Bunch of people below. He's immediately going to go challenge down thirst, one up top. And right here, he's really using information. By the way, in terms of the gun, he is using the MG42, and he is using... The MP40 as his secondary, as we've talked about. So he's going to go ahead and challenge in this way. Try to see what he can find. He doesn't have another UAV up as of right now. So he's kind of trying to figure out information. He knows that there's people around. He's using audio. Trying to see what he can find. Not over peeking that window. Can't wall bang. Now he's going to go ahead and push in. He's going to use stims to his advantage. Turn the corner. Look at the centering right there, right? That's the centering that I'm talking about. Anticipating people and being ready. Because as he turns this corner... He's, he's lost. Like, he's this is not within console FOV right here, right? So if he just runs into this corner and doesn't look, then he's going to get shot. But because he centers well, he knows this guy's over here. He's going to go ahead and chase. He sees him. And 
Remember what I've always said about sensitivity with console players? It allows you to play a little bit more snappy, right? And that's where you see him playing back and forth allows him to kind of see that guy push in the window. He's going to get the thirst. He's got one blow in the corner and one about two buildings over. But he's going to go ahead and push around here. He's got 16, by the way. Still going to drop another 27 kills here. Lobby's still very healthy. They're doing a great job of farming. Watch him turn this corner here. First of all, he baits that. He baits the guy to shoot. He turns the corner. Boom, doesn't see anything. He's going to keep pushing here. He's going to keep clearing. Now he gets shot. He turns, hits, gets the down, gets the thirst. Go ahead and clean this up. Now, right here, just want a quick pause, and I'm going to let the gameplay keep rolling. But if you are looking to get better at Rebirth, my whole goal is to help you become a better Rebirth player. That's it. I took my KD from a 0.72 over a 4 KD. My whole goal is to help you. So if you are looking to get better, just consider hitting that subscribe button down below so that my content gets pushed to you a little bit more. And I do videos every single day. I live stream on YouTube four days a week. So, you know, if you want to know when I'm posting and when I'm going live, by the way, another example there of keeping his distance. If you want to know when I post and when I go live, make sure you turn on that notification bell as well. So he's going to keep playing here, and he's always in living quarters. He hasn't really moved. Again, talking about using his FOB to his advantage there, being able to easily hit shots with the MP40. Look at the pre-fire. And those are little things that you can do. It's it's a very aggressive play right there to do that, to pre-fire that. He knows there's one ghosted, but he knows this guy's in here, right? So he gets the down. He knows this guy's pushed in here. By the time he gets through this door and this door's closed, now he knows this guy's in the corner. He's going to get the pre-fire, get the down, get the thirst. And it's all about getting kills without taking damage. And that's what centering in anticipation really does. And of course, you know, he's got great, great recoil control, great, great aim, which is just an execution component of this. He's got 21 kills. Still going to pick. We're not even to the halfway point of this 43 kill game. Process that. Six teams still up. And, and as I always say, when you drop these high kill games, when you get these 30 bombs, when you're looking at these 40 bombs, keeping his distance, using his... Using his AR, using his aim assist there to his advantage. Although somebody had mentioned that he may have aim assist off, so I'm not totally sure here. But for console players at that range, you can really use aim assist to your advantage. Again, because of the screen. Now he gets caught in a little, he's going to get caught in a little bit of a weird situation right here. Where somebody's actually going to fly in on him, right? And that's a tough situation because you can see right here, it actually kind of loses him a little bit because of that FOV. These are the situations that we're trying to avoid. So, like, right there, he kind of loses him. The guy lands right on him. So, within this five-meter range, that's what I need you to avoid as console players. That's where I always say you're either going to be pushing people or you're going to be getting pushed. And when you are getting pushed, you lose control of how close somebody is to you. Notice throughout this gameplay, he is pushing players, right? He is in control of figuring out where people are and going and challenging them, which allows him to keep his distance at certain times. Wow, look at that. Again, using the throwing knife to his advantage. One right here, and he goes down. That's unfortunate. Little bit of an unfortunate situation. He's going to come back in. He's going to grab Lodi, which is okay, guys. This is a 43 kill game. He dies. It's okay. It's going to happen in Rebirth. Notice again, he's going to keep his distance. I'm just going to keep highlighting this because I want you to... This is the biggest thing that my console players struggle with. He sees the guy over here. Right? He sees him. Now, instead of sliding around here, which is what a lot of people do, which is what I would do on PC, he's just going to challenge the guy. He's just going to keep his distance and challenge right there. He gets the down. He gets the thirst. He knows that there is a bunch of people above. 26 kills. He's got six other teams still up here. And we're rocking. I mean, like I said, this is, this is 80 FOV right here. This is for all the people that are like, look, it's a huge disadvantage. But yes, these things are still possible. He's going to see one above, keeps his distance well. He's not in a situation that he's going to get his camera broken there. And he's going to go ahead and res. Keep pushing here. This game's insane, by the way. Like, this game's just absolutely crazy. He is what, probably the best console player. Easily one of the best out there. Constantly checking corners, trying to see what he can find. Gets the down, gets the thirst, gets the information. Oh, one flying in. Yeah. Now, notice right here, he's kind of in a spot where he doesn't have a ton of information. So, he's got to keep doing something to find information. He's able to get the team wipe right there. So, five other teams. Boom, down, thirsted. One right behind. And, and that's just... I mean, that's just him being a really good player. You know, that's just him being a really good player. Again, with the throwing knife. Last one's outside. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he just throwing knives him. And, and look, those are things that are tough to do. But, you know, especially on console, having that FOV, being a little bit closer. Here's my point with this. Here's my point why I keep saying that, especially with the throwing knives. 
it is very difficult. You are not going to miss a throwing knife when the guy is this close to you. Is it possible to miss a throwing knife when this guy is this close to you? It is not. And that's why he does it. That's why he uses that to his advantage. So maybe the lesson to be learned here after I've been through a bunch of this gameplay breakdown is, hey, don't be afraid to throw a knife or beat people down when they're that close because you're not going to be able to miss them. Like, you're not going to be able to miss them. So don't be afraid to use that to your advantage when somebody's within five meters. But we're going to keep pushing here. Keep rolling. I say that a lot, don't I? I say that a lot. We're going to keep pushing here. Hey, it's because part of playing this is being aggressive and constantly pushing people. He gets the break there. That's just a pre-fire through that second window. And now he knows that somebody's over there. Let's see what the play is right here. 32, three other teams. UAV up. He gets the self revive. Two in this building. One, I think one's above. But even the quality is a little bit tough. Maybe down below. He gets the down. Gets the thirst. One above, one ghosted next to him. So he's got to be careful here. Yeah. Guys, this is just IQ right here. Watch him play this. Watch it. Watch the ping, right? The ping's right above him in this corner. So watch how he clears it. Quick clear of the bathtub. Boom. Now he's out. Now he pre-fires the corner and he uses combat scout to his advantage. One ghosted right next to him. And look, we still have 22 seconds left on resurgence. And he's still going to pick up another nine kills here. Three teams still up. He's in a really good spot. Using his distance to his advantage. He's trying to get in a good position. So much about having success on console is about putting yourself in a good position. So he's going to take the ladder here. He's going to peek this way. He's going to play that. He's going to hit a bunch of shots down. Thirsted. That guy is going to be coming back. Good reach out right there. Hits his throwing knife. One down. One above. One below. Gets that guy. Throwing knife. One last one down below here. 37. Two other teams. He's going to pick up all these kills. Quick reload. Yep. Quick reload. And he's going to be right back in. Let's talk about let's talk about end game here. So he's I, he's gonna keep pushing here, but in terms of end game, right? Where's our power position? Where's our cover? Two most important questions to having success and winning more. Right here, power position and cover is going to be Nova Six Roof. Nova Six Roof for sure. Although they're split really well, there's five other teams or sorry, five other people still up, right? Because there's four on that team. And he's just trying to find them. Now, notice right here, when he doesn't have information, this game becomes a little bit tougher. He has to play a little bit more patient, torched. Does that guy repeak? No, but look at the combat scout to his advantage. Somebody buys UAV. That's, again, the distance using FOV to his advantage with the MP40. He's going to torch that guy down, thirsted, team wipe. So he's got four more left. He's going to pick up all four of these last ones. And look at the positioning right here. He knows that they all have to come to him, and he's just going to wait. He's got 99 bullets. There's one. I'm in a good spot. I'm in a good spot. He's in a really good spot. I don't know if you heard that. He just said, I'm in a good spot, in a good spot. Two. Last one right there. Guys, I hope you found today's video helpful for my console players. I hope you found today's video helpful talking about centering, anticipation, how he keeps his distance to get 43 kills, and why he's really a 4KD player, even with the FOV disadvantage. Let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.